Ladies and gentlemen, I hope y'all are killing it this week and having a great day. So we decided that both of our trucks have been on the channel for a while, so maybe y'all will be interested in them. Do you think they'll be interested? Maybe. I hope so. It's a long shot. But anyway, so we're going to give y'all kind of the rundown on both my truck and Jacob's truck. Obviously, they are very similar, but they are also very different. So to start, we're going to go ahead and start with mine. Now, I have a 2011 F-150 Lariat Limited. Obviously, it's a little far from stock. Stock, they looked like this up here. And to be honest with you, I don't like the whole 22-inch white wheel flashy thing, so it's a little bit different. So to give you all the rundown, I have a four inch Rough Country lift kit under there, which y'all definitely can't see. I did install it myself. Honestly, I mean, Rough Country, Rough Country gets a pretty bad rap, but honestly, it's been pretty flawless. I have no complaints. It rides better than it did stock. So Rough Country, good job. I also have 35 by 12 and a half inch Nitto trail grapplers with 18 by nine and a half inch fuel Anza wheels which also trail grapplers, that's, that's probably gonna be the only tires that are on this truck. These things have been absolutely flawless. Now emblems, yeah, they're not there. So the emblems are actually out in Canada right now getting custom ones done. So more to come on that very shortly. Now I do have FCK lights all the way around. I've got the front pods right there. Also the RGB V2 light bar. And the little pods in there, those are just rough country ones that I've had on there since. Man, I've had them on there a long time. Now, this is a 2011, and as you know, the projector headlights started in 2013, so these are not OEM. When I got them, they were very, very silver. So I did bake them in the oven, pull them apart, I painted them black, and as you can see, they, yeah, they didn't, it just didn't go well. The painting it went well, but the off-roading with it after, I got mud all in them. It wasn't pretty, but we're just gonna ignore that. So being this is limited, we do have the fancy steps. Now I'll just ignore the inside. No, close, 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 close. We do have the fancy steps that come down, and those are probably the best thing on the entire truck. Yeah, I like them. Honestly, I think that's, that's what makes it right there. Now, of course, it does come with, these are all factory, uh, the blacked out lights. They came with factory blacked out headlights too. Obviously they're different, they're still blacked out. I've got toolbox in there, which I do have tools. I'm not one of those guys, I'm not the tool, I do have tools. It's debatable, sometimes, whatever. Got all my stickers, if you haven't checked out the Covert Garage stickers, everything but the TSW sticker and the FCK sticker, you can get on the covertgarage.com, so you should definitely go there. Now, of course, you can't talk about the truck without the heart of the truck, the engine of it. Now, this thing, being it is a limited, it comes with the 6.2 liter that is also in the Raptor. So it does have 411 horsepower and 434 pound foot of torque from the factory. I've done a few things to it, but honestly, it's still probably exactly the same. So I do have to apologize in advance. As you all know, I do use the truck like a truck. It doesn't stay on road. And as a result of that, the engine bay, it's very dirty. I did wash the outside. However, uh, under the hood and the interior, yeah. Anyway, so here is the heart of the engine, the mighty 6.2 liter V8. I do have a Spectre intake because balling on a budget. Um, and that's really all I've got done to it. I do have an SCT Livewire TS Plus tuner. I just have like the stock tune that came with that and it made a little bit of a difference, but not a big difference, but maybe we'll get a dyno tuned. More to come on that. Obviously the wiring, it, just excuse the wiring. So I did most of this wiring like two years ago and it's really bad. So that's one of the projects coming up over the break is to take everything off and just start from scratch because it's honestly pretty bad. But so this motor overall, I've got 125,000 miles on it. It has had zero major problems. The 6.2 is, it's known for being one of the most reliable engines Ford has made. And it's just a beast of a motor. The only downside is there are no performance parts for it. And the parts that there are, are very expensive. So that's the only upside to the 5.0. You can get parts for it. They're everywhere and they're really cheap for this. If I wanted cams for this, it's $1,900. So, yeah. And long tubes, also $1,800. It's crazy. But y'all really don't need to be looking at that because it's just, 
It's a wreck. I know, I'll do better. I'm working on it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Bumper, of course. So I have a DV8 Baja style bumper on this thing. The fitment, eh, it's okay. I've done some little modifications to it to try to get it to fit better. I picked this thing up for $300 actually. I used to have a ranch hand style bumper on it before. And to be frank with y'all, it was gigantic. So it didn't really fit. So took that one off, sold it, and then bought this one on Facebook Marketplace for 300 bucks. A lot of the parts on the truck are from Facebook Marketplace <laughs> because we're balling on a budget here, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And honestly, it's made me build the truck so much cheaper. It just works out for the better. So Facebook Marketplace for the win. I got the bumper on there, had to cut a little bit, but we're not gonna worry about that either. Now I've got HID bulbs, of course, the back. If you watched the last video, you know they're halogen, but they will be replaced soon, but they're nothing like those boys right there. I'm not gonna say I'm jealous, but it, as I recall, I did find those for you. You did, you did help me out on those. I, I did, I didn't buy them, but I did find them. I'm a Facebook marketplace addict. Excuse the interior, but here's a little tour of this. So this little fighter jet switch is supposed to be for my exhaust cutout, which I did break going through a mud puddle. So yeah, anyway, three rocker switches for rock lights, the light bar and the pods from F-150 LEDs. And that is, I mean, that thing is, it's really amazing. Um, it's just a regular F-150 in here. 2011 was the first year that you could get the full infotainment screen. So it's got Sync 1, which, I mean, it's treating me just fine. Obviously Sync 2 is a little more improved and Sync 3 even more so, but no complaints. And of course, you got the limited badge. The one thing I don't like about this generation limited truck though, it's got one limited badge. The newer ones, it says limited all over the place, which I get it, but there could have been a little bit more. So the steering wheel, I do have a cover on it because the old one was kind of getting torn up. I am going to get a new steering wheel soon, though. I'm thinking of like a handcrafted one, the carbon fiber stuff. It'll be really cool. So come into a vlog near you. I've been informed that these were available in 2010. So misinformation. I apologize. The wrap's gonna be coming soon, a few other small things. But other than that, I think it's time to get into Jacob's awesome King Ranch. Lariat Limited versus King Ranch. I'll let y'all decide. Alrighty here, so we have a 2010 King Ranch. Um, pretty stock-ish, I guess you'd say, compared to Ethan's truck. So we got the, I changed tires about 30 miles, 30,000 miles ago. I got these Cooper AT3s, and I mean, they're not the most aggressive tire you see on the market, but. 275 since the R20 on a 20 inch rim. Um, I didn't feel like paying for the money for another rim. So, you see from Ethan's truck. So he he says that he does more of the truck stuff and he doesn't clean the interior, but this is what your interior should look like, gentlemen. I mean, it's just, I mean, granted I haven't conditioned the seats in a while, maybe like a week, but I mean, I mean, you can't go wrong with the nice King Ranch interior. I mean, you got, dual heated seats in the back. You got cooled and heated seats up front. You, for granted though, the screen did come out in 2010, but I do not have that option. But I do have a small little screen up here, which works for me. Okay, so the only, I guess, parts I bought for the truck are these headlights. The OEM ones, they were great, but I found Ethan found these for a great price. And I said, why not? I also put some daytime running lights so they, my blinker, when the blinker shows, they are actually yellow and I unlock it, they're white. But easy, Facebook Marketplace is where you gotta go. And these are also about $60 on Amazon. They're pretty neat. They're just something I just want to give a little cool black look to the truck. And coming soon, I will get a black grill because I'm just, the chrome is not just me. And I will get a black grill on that. And um, let's see here. I do have side marker lights right here as a blinker. So those come on as a blinker as well. And then, um, the other cool little feature I have is the, the headache rack that I made. It's pretty, pretty you know, simple, but you know, homemade, so it's not the best in the market. But hey, there you go. So, well, the other feature I do have on this truck is the window tent. I'll, I got 5% up front, or in the back, excuse me, and then uh, basically 25 up front, but when they read it, it's like 15. That's what the guy told me. And I also got a brow. Just a standard, just a standard brow up there. 
So I know what Ethan wants to brag about how he goes off road with his truck and all that, but I would say I don't keep mine fairly clean, but uh, y'all, y'all speak for yourselves. Let us know down in the comments below which engine bay is a lot cleaner. So I do have the 5.4 three valve, which is notorious for its problems, but so far it has 100, basically 160,000 miles and knock on wood. Problem free, except I, I changed the spark loads at 100,000 miles just because it's it's what you do. Then I also have a K&N air intake, which needs to be cleaned, but just an added extra noise. This makes it sound cool, you know. I, I know it doesn't do much power boost and all that, but but unlike Ethan 6.2, you can get many many parts for a reasonable price, and you can there's a bunch of them. So you just look online, bam, it pops up. Now I haven't had a problem with timing chains or anything like that. No, I said it. It's probably gonna happen to me, but you know what? We'll just see how it hey, goes. If it happens, five O swap, seven three swap, a new truck swap. That's oh, really well, I guess that's cool too. So before we end the video, I know really the only reason y'all are here is because you want to hear the sound of freedom and big American V8 motors. So that's what we're gonna do. He almost just hit me. I can't believe that. Just not fair. It's just well, after those sounds of freedom, it is time to end. Now, leave a comment down and below which do you prefer the modified lifted or the really clean, more stock truck? It's really a toss up, it's a personal it preference. Is. And let us know what your favorite and least favorite parts of both trucks are. I'm kind of curious to know. I am. We'll definitely fix the least favorite parts, right? Yes, we will. No, maybe. We will, we will. we'll see. But thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We've got some really cool stuff coming for y'all. Truck tubing? Yes, truck tubing. Is that happening soon? That is happening. That's gonna I happen think that's going to happen. This week? This week. It's happening this week, guys. So y'all be ready. Stay tuned, and we will catch y'all in the next video.